I just shot a whole video without recording it. That's cool. Now I'm freezing my freaking you know what off. Uh, I'll redo this real quick. So, take three. Guys, uh, wanted to tell you about how to get your Humvee street legal. One of my most well-liked videos on my channel was how to buy a Humvee from Gov Planet. Check that out if you like. This Humvee here, I bought directly off of Gov Planet. I have made uh, no, you know, mods really to make it street legal. It's all been other stuff. Excuse me, it's very cold out. And uh, I didn't go through a middleman to help me or nothing. I got it street legal all by myself. So I want to talk to you and tell you how you do it. Because I hope more people can get Humvees and I like seeing them out there. So anyway, the first step is you're going to go to your DMV. You're going to obtain what is called a DOR 551. I believe that's right. If it's not, I'll flash up the correct form on the screen. And that will allow you to go to your highway patrol office and get your Humvee inspected. I think it's very similar to getting like a dune buggy inspected or something like that. Don't quote me if I'm wrong. There's certain other vehicles you can make street legal that are like custom vehicles. I think it's very similar to that. From there, I don't know if this is required, but I would highly recommend it. You're going to want to wait for your form SF97 to come in. My Humvee took about three months to even get uh, clear to get picked up. And I think after that, it took another three months for my SF97 to come in, or maybe two months, something like that. It takes a long time, but the SF97 is important because it, uh, it'll help tell the highway patrol office that, you know, you didn't steal your Humvee and you own it, I think. And it'll also list some relevant information that they're probably going to want. Okay, so... Take your SF-97, your DOR-551, and your Humvee itself <clears throat> to your highway patrol office. Call them ahead of time. Uh, they will inspect it, and you will basically get a street VIN number, and along that with that, I believe, a street title. From there, I think what you're, you're able to do is you go to your local DMV, and from there, what you do is you will apply for plates, and hopefully get plates that day. It should be no different than just doing a normal car. Um, you might have to work with them a little bit. If that DMV is not being helpful, I highly recommend you just go to a different one. All DMVs are not created equal. Some are very helpful. Some are the least helpful people in the world. And the same probably applies to your highway patrol office. So just work with the people, call them ahead of time. You'll get a good, uh, good idea of whether or not they're going to, you know, whether or not it's gonna be a successful trip for you. So, um, Other than that, guys, I think that's really it. The process is not that complicated. Um, some of these other channels out here will act like you have to, you know, crack an egg at high noon and butcher a, uh, you know, roosting chicken and do a seance dance around a green campfire and all this stuff. If you live in a red state, it's probably not going to be that hard. Now, if you live in a blue state, um, I recommend that you just get a Prius and call it a day. But if you live, like if you're near, I live in Missouri, you know, similar Indiana, stuff like that, you're probably going to be able to get your Humvee Street legal fairly easy. So don't panic and just call your DMV, work with those people. You'll make it happen. Hope this video was helpful, guys. I did my process a little bit back backwards. I actually got a license plate on my Humvee before I got the title. I'm st I still got to go to my Troop C or whatever to get the title. Um, so it's kind of weird, but I basically went there and just brought my SF-97. And uh, they used the manufacturer number off of that to try to apply for a title. And they gave me a plate. I walked out with the plate. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It was weird. So... I never got the title though. I got a letter from the city saying, or from the state saying that I have to go to Troop C with a uh, DOR 551 and stuff to get a, a normal street title. Um, probably because I have a short VIN. So I don't know if my existing plates are even valid or what the deal is with that. Um, but I do have plates. I think I can renew them if I had to. Um, but I'll probably go to my Troop C or whatever and get that taken care of sooner or later here. So. 
hope you guys enjoyed the video hope this cleared up some things and made you a little less scared i will see you in the next one thanks for watching